Foot and mouth disease. It's pretty common in preschool age children and now the highly contagious virus is spreading through older grades. We found one local school district reporting over a dozen cases and Western Mass News reporter Reagan Locri is getting answers on what it is and how to stop the spread. With fall comes pumpkin picking, trick or treating, and a rise in hand, foot, and mouth disease. Although it sounds scary, hand, foot, and mouth, but it sounds like a Halloween thing. It's not. It's just it's it's a common viral infection that it can be dealt with. Western Mass News caught up with a pediatrician from Redwood Pediatrics in East Long Meadow, Dr. John Kelly, who says it's unclear why, but Coxsackie or hand, foot, and mouth disease seems to pick up as the leaves change color. He says it may have something to do with kids heading back to the classroom. For example, Holyoke Public Schools tells Western Mass News in a statement that reads in part, quote, since September 21st, Holyoke Public Schools has had 14 reported cases of hand, foot, and mouth disease within our schools. Four were isolated cases, while 10 cases were within two classrooms at one of our schools. We routinely share information about this illness with our families so they will understand what the disease is, its symptoms, how it spreads, how it's diagnosed, and treated and how to prevent future cases. Dr. Kelly assures us hand, foot, and mouth disease is no reason to panic. He says most kids will get it at some point in their lives, usually before the age of five. However, school-age children and adults can catch it as well. The symptoms start out similar to a cold, with coughing, sneezing, runny nose, and then they progress into a blistery rash around the hands, feet, and mouth. Dr. Kelly adds it spreads easily, making it hard to stop the virus in its tracks. Kids have Coxsackie and they cough or sneeze and they spread it th through the air that way and also through the a fecal oral route because this virus is shed um, in, in feces um, as well. He tells us the spread of hand, foot and mouth disease comes down to kids being kids. They, they don't have a dirty diaper. They touch that area. They touch the toy. Another kid touches the toy and boom, there you go, spreading the virus. Dr. Kelly says usually kids only get hospitalized when the sores in the mouth cause them to avoid fluids, which is a key thing for parents and caregivers to look out for. You think of any trick in the book, popsicles, little sips, they don't have to be guzzling fluid, but little sips, little sips. He adds that the symptoms of hand, foot, and mouth disease can be easily diagnosed by a doctor or pediatrician. It, it slaps you in the face. You see this, you know it. You know it. You know what this is. It's like, it's like looking at uh, classic chicken pox back in the day. And the best way to stop the spread include regular hand washing, Caution when changing diapers, cleaning toys regularly, not sharing cups and glasses, and not going out in public with open blisters. Dr. Kelly says there is no treatment, and the best thing you can do is provide comfort and care to your little one why they have the virus. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Regan Locri.